So we thank God we are finally here in Ohau, in the Kitu North District. Yes, now let's enter into the town to meet with our friend. Let's go. So we are going to meet with Mr. Francis Kublenu, who has earlier on uh, shared with us his first part of his story about his broom weaving uh, business, broom weaving work as well. So we are currently in his village, Ohio, in the Ketuma district. So we are going to meet with him and to listen to his second story, part of the story. Oh, thank God, we are finally here. Yo, uh, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, that's fine. Yeah, so we are here in his town called Ohau. Ohau. This is my first time of coming to this village. All right, now let's enter into the car. Inside my palm, play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever wanna give me wings. You don't ever wanna set me free. You know I'm addicted to you, and it's twisted. You've been gifted with the evil voodoo. Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed. Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through. I got issues in my head. I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red. Oh. Everything is like a test. I better not text or I'll come off desperate. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my mind. Standing right there. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, then will you get bored of killing So with right. play dead, so Mr. Francis, you... sir. We are finally here in your hometown, Ohavu. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a very nice place. Oh. Mm. Today we are here to see yeah. your town. You've already shown the world. Your first part of the story. Mm. So once you are here in the village, you would like to know where exactly you started from. Mm. Can you show us before we go? Yeah. In? Can you show us Let where me you show you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is my room. Don't laugh. Yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah. Abel, come, come. Let me see something. This is where you used to live. Yeah, this is where I, I used to live. This is where, where they born. My goodness. This is where they born. This is where you were born. Yeah. So you lived in this room for like how many years? Oh, almost oh, 20 something years. Oh I my, think. oh my. 20 something years. Yeah, 20 something years. So you've lived in this house, in this particular house for over 20 something years mm. that means for almost 30 years yeah <laughs> life is not easy mm. this is where you were born yeah this is where i was born we we're born here yeah we live here yeah before moving to accra, accra. in fact you have something to tell us mm. i mean in fact join me Let, let's go around i want to see how this whole house uh, house looks like mm -hmm. so people just have a look mm -hmm. this is the building the back to the back breakdown. <laughs> the back breakdown. One I way. see. My goodness. So this is the place. Yeah, this is the place. You now have a big coconut tree. Yeah. And then this coconut tree, they will chop some to you. Yes, I have to chop some. Oh, it's like the I whole place I, is demolished. Yeah, I didn't say one day rain is falling before. You know, brah. 
Oh, so the whole thing happened. Happened. It on collapsed me. when you were in the inside, house. Yeah, inside the room. One night. Mm. Big rain is falling before I hear no brine. Mm. Mm. People get story to tell you. Mm. It is not easy. At all, at all, at all. But your place seems to be very conducive. You can yeah. see plenty of trees yeah. and all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But Charlie. Me, me myself, I love, I love bush. You love, love bush. Yeah. We all love bush. Love but bush. in this world, eh? If you are living in the bush, you must live in something better. Yeah, it true. shouldn't be something like this. Yeah, it's true. But for you to live here and make up your mind that you, have, you want to make it in life, and for that matter, you try as much as you can to pack yourself, travel all the way to Accra yeah. to do this broom weaving business. Yes, sir. That means you have a vision. You must tell us what exactly motivated you because. Not everybody. Sometimes some people may think like, "Oh, Charlie, I have to be here and do my own thing." It's not. There is no need for me to hustle or travel to any other town, city, or other village to do something. But you yourself, your story is quite different. So now, you will tell us before we go to what, what you have achieved from this your broom weaving business in Accra. I, I want you to share with us. I want you to share with us. What exactly motivated you? So please, you let's find a place to sit so that you can tell us your story. Or you would like us to sit somewhere here. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. Also. Is All right. That's fine. Yeah. So please join us. Let's find a place to sit so we can have this conversation together. Please don't forget, as I've already said it to you, this channel is AMK Diaries. And please, for you to support our channel, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kindly like, comment, and also share for other people to also enjoy. Like I've been saying to you all the time, my name is AMK. AMK Diaries, exploring the beauty of Africa and nature is our hallmark. So please kindly join us as we uh, have a conversation with our brother, Francis Kubleno. Like I said earlier on, we are here in his village, Ohau, in the Ketu North District, in the Volta region of Ghana. I want you to tell us something. You've come to see where you started from. It is not an easy thing. Can you please tell the world, tell everybody to see what exactly motivated you? Because by the look of your background, it's not an easy thing for somebody to come out all the way from this comfort zone to move to Accra to do this hustle work, like this room within business. What exactly motivated you? Can you tell the world what exactly motivated you as the way you are? Yeah, okay. Thank you for your question. Mm -hmm. um, first thing, my motivation, as we... This is my, let me see. Let me say something like this. Please, can you see my, my building? You see it, yeah? This is how they born me. This is how I started from. One day, I stay here almost 20 years. 20 years, yes. And uh, one night, when it's falling, when it's falling, before I hear no, the back of the building collapse. And they break, after they break, I say, no. I think about it. I think about it. I think about it. So I, I start crying. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. That time to, I have wife, I have one kid. Mm -hmm. And I say, no. I think I don't know what to do. I say, no, then let me go. Let me, let me go back to city. Let me go to city. And go and start something over there. And I, I went to city mm -hmm. with my skills. Your skills. Yeah, I know how to do broom, the standing broom, the one that they, they used to sweep. Yeah, the to long one. Yeah, the long one. I know how to sweep. I know how to do it. And I, I went to Accra, and I find place. I went to Lego Bush. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me come in small. Mm -hmm. You said you went to the city. Yes. To do this business. Yes, yes, yes. Before leaving for the city. Did you ever have a family or relative that you were going to stay with? Or No, 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 no. I don't have anybody over there. I didn't have anybody over there. Mm -hmm. So I went there from here to city. I didn't have anybody. So where did you sleep when you went there at first? It's a long story. It's a long story. It's a long story. It's a long story. So from here to the city, and I find place. I went to the bush, walk around, find place, place I can do the business. So I went there. I started a business, small, small, small. That 2013 inside. I started small, small, small. They are buying it. They are buying it. They are buying it. That that time I'm I'm thinking about my building, where I'm going to sleep. I don't have a place to sleep. 
So I'm thinking about my back every day. So anytime I sleep, I think about my back. Anytime I, I sleep, I think about my building. Place my family will sleep. Where to sleep? Yeah. So one day I started work. They are buying it small, small. Before I see, I make more money. The first money I make in three months. In three months, I get thousand eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in three months I get thousand. Which year was that? Uh, 2013. 2013. Yeah. That was over like uh, 11 oh. years. Uh, sorry, 11 years now. Yeah. We are in 2024, right? Yeah. Okay. So I make uh, three months. I make 20. Uh, I make thousand eight. That means in 2013, which is thousand eight, was quite big money. Yeah. It's okay. big money. That okay. time they sell cement, one bag of cement is 30 Ghana. So I buy, as I come from Accra, with that 1,008, I buy 30 bag of cement at once. Straight. Straight, which is nine, 900, 9 million. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so you, you said you were able to buy cement. 30 bags 30 of, bag of cement. That time, wow. nine, 900 cities, 9 million. That time they sell one bag of cement, three, uh, 30 Ghana, which is 300,000. That time, so I buy nine, uh, I buy 30 bags of cement, nine million, and I started cutting this block. Started cutting this block, small, 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 small. If I go to Accra, I spend like two months, three months, I come back with different things. Sometimes, if I come, I'll come and buy iron sheet, like mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, if I go back to Accra, I come back, then I buy uh, this thing, the wood, small, 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 and I started one day. That time, my woman. I sent her to a mother to go stay there because there is no place to sleep. To sleep? Yeah. Oh. So I sent her to their mother. So, small time if I can, I go in there, I give them money, I do like this, I come back. Uh, they talk, those things of uh, where I can't get to in your room. All right, please, let me come in small, uh, Mr. Francis. Uh, so, what you said that you were, you were able to raise like some money yeah. to buy yourself 30 bucks of money. Yes. That was 2013. 2013. Okay, no. Let me ask you this question. Why didn't you decide eh, to stay in Accra whilst you've got into Accra? Why didn't you decide to live in Accra without coming back home? What inspired you to come back to your village uh, to build or with the 30 bucks of men? Why? Yeah, as I can say, my village, I love my village. Mm -hmm. I love my village, seriously. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if I did village, I think more than I went to city. Mm. So me, as for me, as my building collapse, I build house for village. Me, sometimes if I went back to Accra, I'm not getting it clear. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah, I'm not you getting can't it. Think well. No, no, no. Accra. Because of the pressure. The pressure is too much. Pressure in Accra. Too is much. <laughs> sometimes if you want to buy something, it's too cost. This one is too cost. So sometimes, me, I love village. I love village. That is why I want to do something in my village first before. If I get a chance for city too, I can do some over there. Mm, okay. So that's the reason why you never bother yourself to build in the city, but rather come back to your hometown to do something. Okay. So along the line, when you were in the city, I learned in our first interview, you made mention of sleeping in the car and other things. Yes. So let me ask you this question once again. Whilst we are in your village here, How was your family members thinking about your living in Accra? Well, they were, they, 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 did, they, did, they, did they ever knew that you were sleeping in the car? No, no. Nobody knew you were no, sleeping no, in the car? No. <laughs> so when, when, when you brought the, this thing, that 30 bucks of cement to the village, what happened? What did they tell you? How did they feel? Yeah, some of them, they think that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a criminal. Oh. Yeah, they, they think a lot of me. Mm -hmm. Some of them think that I'm, I know I'm a smoker, mm -hmm. I'm a drunker, I'm a criminal. No, it's not like that. But don't you smoke? No! Don't you drink? No, 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 no. I cannot do such a thing. Haven't you do that kind of thing before? No, no, no. I have a wife. I have a wife? Yeah. I cannot do such a thing. Okay. I have a wife. Okay. Mm. So it means you heard of those things, but you decided to remain calm. I didn't mind anybody. You didn't mind anybody. I focus on what you were just focus on what you were doing. Yeah. All right. That's fine. So, before you go to your achievement, as you said earlier on, in fact, I'm even short of voice because what I've seen for myself, even people with uh, white-colored jobs and all that can't even achieve it. 
No, as for me, I like my talent. Right now, eh, mm. I want you to tell us something about it. But before then, eh, I want the world to know, to know what you have achieved, the kind of buildings you have been able to erect in your village. How many buildings have, do you have so far? So far, I have two. You have two buildings. And I started a third one. You started a third yeah, one? Yeah, I put concrete. Concrete? Yeah. Okay. So can you take us to the buildings? Let's go. Okay. Fast. All right. So you are going to show us the building. So please, let's go to the buildings. I want us to, I want everybody to see the building, the kind of building this man has been able to build out of brew within business. In fact, I'm even short of words. Like I said earlier on, you are going to look at what he has achieved. He has a lot, a lot of story to tell us. But before then, you let's go. Let's go and watch them. Yes, sir. By weaving broom yeah. in a car. Yeah. And you said you have two buildings. Yes, I have two buildings. And this is four bedrooms. Yes. My guy, come on, let's go around and, and, and have a look at that. This is the building well. Huh. Wow. You have this building. Yeah. Very nice one. It's, bathroom is there. You have the bathroom here? Yeah. But no toilet. No toilet? No. Why did you bring toilets inside? I will do it outside. You do it outside there. Yeah. Yeah. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. It's better. Mm. Anyway, you've tried. Mm. You, are, you are really a good man. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you are a very forceful man. In fact, congratulations. Yeah, I never you. knew people like you can do this. Yeah. Oh, so this is the, it's really good. another entrance. Yeah, eh? yeah, another entrance. My father is inside. Your father is inside. Yeah, okay, we wouldn't like to. You don't want to disturb your father. Yeah, yeah. Let him rest. Yeah. Let him rest. So it's good. So you have this here. Yeah. <laughs> so he gave you the land. My father. My father gave you the land. Yeah. Then he's a very good man. Yeah. Uh, you all, we need to get father who can give us land, though, so we can also build our own. <laughs> <laughs> so this man here has gotten a father who, uh, sorry, he has a father who has got given him a, a, this, a piece of land he's to build. He's a good man. Uh, yeah, he's a good man mm. to build his house on. That's a four bedroom house. Four bed and you know what? This guy you are talking about, this young man you are talking about here, doesn't have any white color job. Does not have any good or like I say, uh, like you can say, a good educational background. He didn't even go to school at all. But look at what he has done. He is a weave, uh, this thing, broom weaving guy. He weaves broom in a craft. Despite uh, uh, his inability to make it good in school, he has been able to do this by himself. Now tell me, you that has a PhD degree and all that, can you tell us what you have achieved? Maybe you are now thinking something in your head. This man has been able to do this thing by himself. So now he's going to take us to his next building. You said you have another I building. Know, let's go there. Okay, let's go this way. It's over there. You're going to the second building. Okay. In fact, I'm really impressed. It's what we've been able to do with us doing with in business. Not everybody. Not everybody. And I repeat, not everybody <laughs> can do what you've done. You have done a good job for yourself and your family. Thank you. But do you have wife? 
So I have wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said it earlier on. You have wife and have kids, right? Uh, two How girls. many are they? Two. Two girls. Two girls. Uh, two girls. Uh, then the girls there, they are fortunate too. I'm sure you are going to bring the third one. Or are you? Uh, are you uh, no, no, not yet. Not yet. Uh, you still bring? No. Uh, <laughs> uh, you need to get more. Yeah. Because you have two houses. Mm. You need to get more. Uh, but this house, I keep it for my family. Those, okay. Uh, those are my sisters and my brothers in Accra. Okay. That is why I do it quickly. Okay. Because of here, yeah, it's not good for them. Okay. Maybe if they bring stranger from Accra, no place to sleep. That is why I put this one. Oh. I suffer for this one before. It's very good. You have a good heart. Yeah. You Thank have you. a good heart. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. So where are we now? Uh, this is the second one. So this is the second house. Yeah, this is where I sleep. <laughs> no, this is where you sleep. <laughs> yeah. You, you <laughs> left the four bedroom yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you are sleeping in yes, there. Sir. How many two rooms? Two rooms. Yeah. Because my father is there, so I don't want to disturb him. You, oh, okay. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. You wouldn't so like You can go there. Let me show you. Uh, so this is where you hey, oh, sorry. sorry. This is where you you sleep. Mm. Mm. You have two bedroom house here. This this is my small kitchen. Yeah, your small kitchen. Mm. That's fine. This is the bathroom. So, oh, come this on. Come place. on, come on. Bathroom place. Yeah. See you. <laughs> Somebody has been able to do this. This is my small Chai. kitchen. Hey, this is my bathroom place. Please me. Give me thank five. You. Yes, sir. You are really a good man. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You are really, really a good thank man. You, thank you, sir. Have a good heart. Yes, sir. I'll be able to do this. If I do somebody, eh, mm. by the time you get to a car, started getting something small, small, you'll be chopping the girls left, right, front, back. <laughs> but <laughs> you, do, you do that. Oh, yeah, you're a good man. Yeah. So, Thank you. So there's the third one. I the want third to... one is also here. Yeah. Oh. I put concrete. There's concrete over there. Yeah, concrete, eh? Mm. But you add one more to it. Yeah, I want to add. Making three. Yeah. So one person, you have four bedroom, three bedroom, there's making seven bedrooms. There's concrete. Concrete. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. It's concrete. Concrete sander. Mm. Mm, it's good. That wow. means you've started already. Yeah, if God permit, maybe next year. Uh -huh. I'll do it. We'll try and do it. Yeah. Oh, you are, you, you've done well. You've done okay, well. Thank you, sir. Done well. Okay, now let's have a sit and continue our conversation. In fact, okay. you've really done well. I want you to advise the youth for me. Because there are so many things happening. A lot of youth nowadays think that getting white color job is the best thing that can help them get enough money to do something for themselves please what is your advice for the youth okay, okay. Me, I, i'm I, advising you the youth stop buying expensive things know how to save money try and know how to save money stop buying exp expensive things to wear know how to save money so that you get bright future yes so that's my advice that's very good. So that you can have this for yourself. Mr. Francis is trying to tell all of us that we should all learn how to save money. By saving money, means you are saving your future. We should all try to avoid expensive things. things. You can buy things which are nice and all that, but not that expensive, mm -hmm. so that we can save for our future. Thank you. Because this very man here we are talking about here couldn't make it much in school. Mm. And you know one thing, he has been able to do this thing for his people here. Upon all that he has been doing in Accra, or especially in his village here, he doesn't have a place to stay in Accra. He stays on the bench, he sleeps on the bench every night. I wept the very first time I saw him sleeping on the bench. Hmm. And he has slept there for almost 13 good years without having a house or a room in a car to stay. Isn't that touching? Please. Please. We can all help him. We can assist him. Whoever has a, a house in a car somewhere that doesn't even sleep in a bed. You can contact us so that you can be you can be of help to him so that he can also get a place to sleep. You can see all that he has done for himself. Despite his inability to further his education or not be able to get opportunities. You learn to use the word not being able to get opportunity because when they say inability, it means he got the opportunity but he couldn't make it. But that's the thing is he didn't get it at all. He didn't get the opportunity to go to school. But here we are. 
testifying about what he has achieved from this broom weaving business. Please, let's all try to do more to support ourselves. Once again, we are still here in Ohabu, in the Kikund of districts, in the voter region of Ghana. We have bring you the story about Mr. Francis Kubleno. His whole life, how he started and where he has gotten so far. Please, we are begging you. We want to bring you more of the stories. Kindly help by subscribing to our YouTube channel, AMK Dives. Our hallmark is exploring the beauty of Africa and nature. Subscribe to our channel. Kindly turn down the notification bell. Share comments to support our channel to bring you more of these stories. My name is Prince Amwaku, popularly known as AMK. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.